my secret to God to Michelle Fitzakerly and Camille Buxton, because I get to say it. Um, I want to thank y'all for like all y'all have done to, for me and listened to me, even when I was being a little brat. And I really want to thank y'all. Like y'all was there for me, even when I felt like nobody else was. And y'all gave me like the best advice, and y'all just really t looked after me, even outside of school. Like I was y'all own kid, and I want to thank y'all for that. Man, um. All I have to do is say thank you for everyone who has helped me. Dealt with my stupidity. Like, beyond that, I, I had some very dull and stupid moments, but I do have to thank everyone. Friends, family, um, it's been really great. Um, I especially have to thank Brian Snowden, man. He helped me get through a lot. Um, it is, it, you're a great pal, you're a brother to me. I want to thank everyone that's helped me out. And I, I truly appreciate it. I don't think I can make, I didn't think I could make it past 10th grade, but with all y'all's help, I did. So I want to thank y'all. Today is my graduation day, and looking back, I couldn't imagine coming this far without the support of my parents and my teachers. So I just want to say that I love y'all and thank you for everything. Uh, I want to say thank you to everybody in my family and everybody, my friends that like gave me my test answers and all that. And Thank my parents for uh, pushing me, uh, setting me on the right path, and that's really it. Thank you, everybody. Um, I really want to start out thanking like all my teachers who've helped me through everything. You know, this has been my high school experience has been like a rather odd one, I would say, and uh, you know, everyone helping me to get through math class because we all know that was. A uh, big struggle of mine, but you know, we y'all stuck stuck with me and got me through it. Um, I want to thank my family, my aunts, uncles, you know, everyone who's put up with my like weird obsessions, my like style changes, everything that like you know I've gone through for the past few years. Um, and I want to thank everyone for putting up with me through the blonde phase because that was we all know that was a <laughs> tough time. Um, most importantly, I want to thank my grandmother and my um, aunts who have been there for me through thick and thin. My um, sister from another mister, as I call her, Trina, for you know helping me um, figure out a bunch of stuff and being there for me, being like you know my rock. Um, I want to thank all of my friends who have helped me through high school, who've you know taught me and showed me how to be a better person, call me out when I'm wrong, supported me when I'm right. Um, and most importantly, I wanna thank my parents for, even though they're not being here, they have shown me throughout their time on this earth that I am to how to be myself, how to love myself, how to, you know, just be Vernon. So thank you to all of you. I want to shout out to Ms. Richardson for always being there, Ms. Burris, my mom and dad, and my brothers as well for helping me through this process. First, I'm going to shout out my class because y'all voted me for Ms. RCEC. I don't know why, but I'm going to say thank you because I didn't, I didn't never say thank you because I never came up here. But thank you to you all. I very much so appreciate that. Mr. Lawson, you really the man. Uh, my sophomore year? Was that my sophomore year? That wasn't my freshman year. My sophomore year here, I was having a really rough time with myself, not with anybody else, with myself. And you very much so, you helped me get through that because I'm be honest with you, I really did not want to be here that year. I really did not want to be here. And every day coming to your class, it just, it was something that helped pick me up. Buxton, I want to thank you for being patient with me because I'm, ooh. Me and I, my freshman year, the attitude was out of control. Thank you for being patient with me. I was mad at the time, but thank you for telling my dad on me. I really was, I was hot. I was very, I was, I was steaming hot that you had called my dad on me, but I needed you to call my dad on me because I was out of control. I'm gonna say thank you to my daddy. You make me mad, you really do, every day. But thank you for being hard on me, pushing me. Um, because if I would have been able to do what I wanted to do, 
I would not be graduating from here. I would probably been dropped out of River City um, and I wouldn't have made it this far. So thank you for being rough on me. Sometimes you're a little too rough and you need to get your foot off my neck, but thank you. Ooh, I would thank the Lord. I would thank the Lord because Jesus knows. The Lord knows what it took for me to get here. I want to say thank you to the Lord because Jesus Christ, it's been some rough days, some rough days. I'm with my church family. I don't know if y'all gonna be at the graduation because I can't invite all y'all. But y'all, y'all the real MVPs. Y'all the real MVPs. Oh, Miss Fizz. I can't forget Miss Fizz. Miss Fizz, you really the man. You really, well not the man, you're the woman. But you right up there with Mr. Lawson. Y'all two classes. I don't want to do nothing dealing with history, but going to history and going to leadership, those classes really, 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 you know, kept me afloat that year because I was really going through it. I don't know why I was going through it, but I was going through it. So thank you to you, Miss Fizz, as well. I would like to thank my family and friends for giving me all the support I need and helping me support my career. And I'd like to thank my friends for being there for me when times got hard and love you guys. I want to thank my mom for putting up with all my stuff with comp and English and Ms. Laura's overall period. Thank you um, Nana for even letting me come to your house and kind of have an area to where I can kind of let the stress go away sometimes. Um, also uh, thank you daddy for showing me everything, how to work on cars down there, um, how to even how to go hunt and everything. That was fun. Um, and just literally thank everybody for even putting up with me. I mean, I know I was hard, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> I want to thank my mama for pushing me to keep going. I want to thank my daddy. I want to thank my sister, my brother. Without my sister finishing high school, I don't think I would have been able to do it. But I want to thank her. She going to college. My brother, he he doing what he can do so he can get better. I want to thank my grandma. I love her to death. She even been through support most now. I wish my other grandma could be here. Shout out to them, my family, my best friend Duke. I love y'all. And I just want to say thank you to all of my teachers here, my mom, my dad, for constantly supporting me, pushing me to come to school every day. I just want to thank them for keeping me on the right track. Okay, so my senior secret is um, that I have, first off, a lot of people to thank. I want to thank God for getting me where I am now, um, just being the strength that I needed to get where I am. I want to thank Evestia for being there for me all for all four years of my high school career. Thank you so much. I want to thank Sarah for being there for two and just being a bright, shining light for me. Um, I want to thank Shreya for just uh, kind of being my double um, you know, having the same humor as me and just getting along with me so well. Thank you for that and all the ROV memories that we have. Um, I want to thank Riddy for pushing me to be a better person um, in my academics, seeing you constantly working. Um, really pushed me to do better. And also Kangana, who did well, very well, but you taught me to also relax um, in what I do. I wanna thank Neil, you're not here anymore, and I don't know if you'll see this, but thank you so much. You also pushed me to do my best. Um, I thank my favorite teacher, Miss Marshall. You also aren't here anymore, but thank you so much for all that you put into me and believing in me. Um, I wanna thank Evelyn and the rest of the ROV um, members for you know being there with me while we went on a trip, getting our third place, and you know also with all this COVID stuff, you know just being there and giving me like what I needed to continue. Um, I want to thank Buxton and all the other teachers for once again believing in me and just being there for me. Um, I want to thank my parents for investing in me and believing in me also, allowing me to have this opportunity. Um, I want to thank my siblings for, you know, being there and being siblings for the most part. Uh, I want to thank my cousin Nancy for also always believing me, giving me encouragement again and again. Um, those words really helped me. And I want to thank the rest of my extended family for everything that they gave me. Um, uh, and the rest of the RCC staff, once again, for giving us this facility and allowing me to grow. And I want to thank those who are no longer in my life for one reason or another. You've taught me what to be aware of in certain relationships, and I thank you for that. So I wanted to say thank you to one of my friends, Anna, for being my Roxanne, matching my sarcasm, and being an amazing listener. 
And then to Ivestia for deciding to talk to that random girl at the Nukes fundraiser in 10th grade, for being the sweetest person ever and literally always being there for me. To my cousin Shreya for making me laugh and taking me on coffee runs in between classes when we both hadn't had enough sleep. And thank you to Cameron for being there for me since kindergarten despite distance and time. And I cannot wait to open that McDonald's with you. Um, thank you to my parents and my grandparents for pushing me to do my best and dealing with my constant sarcasm and my love of retail therapy. Thank you to Miserous Bridget and my River Point Dance Academy, all my friends and dance instructors, instructors there, for teaching me so many life lessons and helping me to grow as a dancer and as a person. Thank you to all the teachers and staff for helping me to find the leader in myself. Thank you to Miserous Buxton for encouraging me to write more and helping me discover my passion for writing. I also want to thank God for giving me this life, future, and a chance to make a difference in the world. And thank you to all of these people for motivating me and believing in me. And thank you to my classmate for all of the teamwork and the quizlets. <laughs> Hi, I just want to say thank you to my parents for always being supportive and to my family for always encouraging me. I want to say thank you for Lauren for always being there to give me advice when I need it and for my friends to help me make me feel more comfortable and like I belong. I want to give a shout out to Chantrice because she really gave me a hug every day in the, in the hallway and stuff and that just really helped me through school like a lot. And I want to do a shout out to the teachers at Ms. Richardson and Ms. Buxton because Ms. Buxton she really made school fun and stuff. I want to give my shout out to my mama because you know she my ride or die and I really wouldn't be able to do this without her and so I'm glad that she pushed me to come to school and yeah. First and foremost, I have to thank my grandmother. She's been my rock throughout every bad thing that's happened in my life. She's, she's really made me the person I am. She, uh, she's taught me what's right and wrong. And she, I don't know, I don't think that I'm making her as proud as I could. And that's the thing I regret most at the moment. Um, but I love her and I'm very lucky that she loves me and that she's giving me chances to grow and blossom as a person that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I gotta thank the Daggetts because they've been helping me and my grandma since day one. A special thanks to Shanna and Ace because, you know, I wouldn't have grown so much as a person without them being there for me um, and being willing to put up with me, I suppose, as I grew. Extra special thanks to Clarissa, cause she's kind of my mom now. But, um, yeah. So those are my thanks. Getting through high school was an experience. Um, I enjoyed almost every day. There were some key people that got me through the hard times, mostly my friends. Um, <laughs> Specifically, my best friends, Sarah and Yasmin and Dessa and Madison. Um, they were there for me on days where it was hard for me to show up to school. Um, <laughs> I'd also like to thank my parents because on days where I thought I couldn't get through it, I'm so emotional. On days where I thought I couldn't th get through it or thought that I wasn't smart enough to go to the school, um, they encouraged me and told me that if I tried my hardest, if I tried my best, then they would be proud of me and that I would always be enough for them. And lastly, I'd like to thank the staff because coming to school every day and being taught by such a just great set of people that really influenced me for the past four years. Um, they really shaped who I am today and I don't know who I would be if I didn't have them. So. I just want to give a big shout out to all of my family, but most importantly my mom and my sister because they are the ones who stuck with me through this hard year. And most importantly, my RCEC family and staff and my friends. I love you guys so much and let's see where this journey takes me. Dear mom and dad, thank you for your unconditional support and selflessness. Thank you for the countless sacrifices that have opened up doors for me to grow and succeed in everything that you've, you've taught me. Dad, thank you for the tough love and the advice that you've given me. Thank you for letting me be me and for having my back. 
Thank you for giving me a shoulder to cry on and most importantly, for pushing me to do my best in everything that I do. Mom, thank you for being a mom that knows how to be a friend. Thank you for continuing to support me no matter the weird things that I decide to do next. I know how much you have sacrificed for me to be as healthy and happy as I am today. I love both of you and I'm so lucky to be your daughter. I also want to thank Mr. Eric Lawson for all the leadership that he has taught me and for showing me to be strong even when things are rough. And I also want to, say, want to thank Miss Amy Belk. Thank you for loving me unconditionally and giving me some of the best advice. I love all of you so much and I'm so appreciative to have the most supportive and caring family I have. I have a few people I want to thank, mostly my mom. She's um, done so much for me in the last four years. First, making me apply to the school when I didn't want to. Best decision I've ever made, she's ever made for me. Uh, she does everything for me and I'm so thankful for her. And then my dad, he does lots of things for me too. When I have car troubles, I call and he's there. So I'm really thankful for that. And all my friends that I've made and those who have stuck by me, I really appreciate it. Hey, I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends and family for being there with me throughout our time from, with River City. Um, I want to thank my mom especially for being there for me as well as my grandma and TT. Um, for my friends, I want to thank Caleb and LaKeisha for our time spent together and helping me through my classes. And I also want to thank the River City teachers for being there for us and me and their adults mostly support us. Hey, I would like to thank my mama. Hey mama, hey mama girl, hey mama. <laughs> I would like to thank my dad, I would like to thank my stepmama for giving me through English. I would like to thank all my friends for giving me through all types of math, all maths, all Englishes, everything. I just want to thank everybody. Cause if it wasn't for y'all, I couldn't have never did this. <laughs> thank you my family that's sitting in the audience. And just so you know, I'm probably embarrassed right now watching this and everybody else watching it. But I did want to do a shout out to my mom for helping me get to where I am and getting into nursing school and all of that. And for always staying proud of me even though this year was really, really rough. And a lot of hard times, a lot of crying. And I want to thank my dad for also not giving up and just helping me push forward. And my sister for helping set me up on the path that I am even though sometimes she didn't want to always have to be the mom. And just for all the teachers that never gave up on us even though sometimes I would have rather go home than teach. And so I just want to say thank you to all of you. My parents, um, I thank y'all for always pushing me to be my best, always pushing me to do my best. And I want to dedicate this to my auntie Andrea. She was the reason I decided to even go through with this program. She wanted to see me graduate, but in 2014, she was killed in 18 wheeler crash when I was 20. And I knew then I had to finish to be one of the first to ever graduate the correct way in our family. It was a major monument. So, this for you, A.T. Hey, I just wanted to say a big thank you to my mom. Not gonna cry. <laughs> Number one supporter and the best person in my life. My grandfather for always helping me with schoolwork, even when I was little and didn't know how to multiply. Huge thank you to my sisters for being like another mother to me and always looking out for me. And a big thank you to Ms. Buxton, especially out of all the teachers. Thank to all the teachers for always helping us and always trying to make school super fun and teach us all these amazing things that other schools would never get the chance to learn and experience. Thank you. Today's the day and I'm really excited. I just want to thank my friends. They're always there for me whenever I was stressed out or whatever. They're always there to comfort me. Y'all are awesome. So I want to thank you guys. And of course, I couldn't have done this without my family. Y'all are just always there supporting me 100%. And um, even though I worked for this, I worked really, really hard, I couldn't have done it without y'all. So this is not just my day. I want to thank you guys as well. I want to give a shout out to all my, par all my parents, uh, all my family members, uh, the teachers, coaches, and teammates, and friends. Uh, all y'all helped me along this way. Um, I feel like this journey is going to be really good and it's just on the, the beginning. So. I want to thank my family, my friends, and anyone that helped me throughout my years of hospital.
me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic from which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Will you please bow your head for the invocation? Dear God, thank you for allowing us to gather here tonight to celebrate the class of 2021 and all of their accomplishments. We ask that you watch over us as we begin this new chapter of life and that we follow the path that you have planned for us. Thank you for placing people in our life who can encourage and guide us this far. God, as we leave here tonight, I ask that you give us traveling grace, watch over us, and keep everyone safe as we go our separate ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Good evening, and welcome to the class of 2021 graduation ceremony. My name is Shreya Surti, and I'm the student council president. First of all, I'd like to welcome my fellow peers and honorable guests that are here tonight to witness River City's second annual graduation. Now, if this were any ordinary speech, I'd mention what an honor it is for me to be up here talking to y'all tonight. But this will be anything but ordinary because our class is different. Our experiences have been very different from that of any other ordinary high school student. First of all, even considering signing up for this school and being able to graduate with an associate's degree sets us apart. From focus Fridays and club days where we're slamming cards on the tables, to math class where we're keeping a tally of who's bawling their eyes out next, and we can never forget Quizlet saving us in our Heinz classes. Honestly, I think I could give my degree to Quizlet. I can say for certain our class has had some extraordinary experiences. Although the path here to, has, been give, has been difficult at times, this chapter of our lives is over and a new one is beginning. As we move on with our lives, these memories will stay with us and we'll cherish them at, and watch the sunset as old wrinkly raisins. In all honesty, I'd like to thank everyone for taking the time to make River City even possible and I'd especially like to thank those who have stuck with us along the way. It's been an amazing four years and will probably be some of the best we will ever have. Finally, I wanna say thank you again to all of you on behalf of the class of 2021. Now, I will present a token of appreciation to Ms. Amber Davis on behalf of the class of 2021. On behalf of the faculty and administration of River City Early College, we welcome you to the 2021 commencement ceremony. We extend our congratulations to these fine young men and women on their graduation from high school. Joining us today are some very special guests. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. From the Board of Trustees of the Vicksburg Warren School District, our president, Mr. James Sturges, Jr., Vice President, Ms. Sally Bullard, Secretary, Mr. Brian Pratt, Mr. Kimball Slayton, and Mr. Alonzo Stevens. Thank you. From the Vicksburg Warren School District Administration, our Superintendent, Mr. Chad Sheely, Deputy Superintendent, Mr. David Campbell, Associate Superintendent, Mr. Cedric McGee, 
Dr. Cedric McGee, our Director of Athletics, Mr. Preston Naylor, thank you. We would like to extend our appreciation to also to our staff, support personnel, and student council members. We would also like to thank Security One Security Service, Vicksburg Warren Security Resource Officers, Sheriff Martin Pace and the Warren County Sheriff's Department, Chief Milton Moore and the Vicksburg Police Department, Vicksburg Convention Center, Ms. Christy Kilroy, and our faculty and staff of River City Early College. This time is the celebration of your senior. The faculty and staff are extremely proud of each graduate. We want this um, celebration to be a dignified event, therefore I'm requesting that we applaud the graduates but refrain from yelling. This distracts from the next senior and in some cases other parents cannot hear the name of their graduate. Please help make this a dignified ceremony for your student. Thank you in advance. All right, so at this time, we would like to recognize some of our students. River City Early College designates students as honor graduates if they maintain a grade point average of 4.0 to 4.499 throughout their four years of high school. Students, as I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Please hold your applause until the end. The 2021 honor graduates are Annalise Basham, Matthew Campbell, Annie Caston, Ayanna Chapman, Gary L. Cooper, Samuel Dixon, Jacob Downey, Caitlin Fisher, Hope Hudson, Chantrice Pendleton, Danielle Robertson, Yasmin Ross, Elizabeth Spangler, Zachary Stokes, Victoria Talbot, Jenny Trest, Selena Vasquez. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> students, you may be seated. Those students maintaining a grade point average of 4.5 to 4.999 throughout their four years of high school are designated as high honor graduates. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. The 2021